a Mac computer test. My ultimate goal is to get a whole stack of DVDs and CDs and archive, get all of that data onto my computer. If you are taking video off of a DVD, I would recommend using Handbrake. It is a free program. Now in this particular case, if you click this eject button, it won't actually open up. So you have to go over to your Mac and you have to click the eject right there in the same way that you would eject a flash drive. And you probably heard that pop up and now we can pop it up completely. I like this because you're not having to push it in and out like this. It's really easily accessible. And then I can get my next data DVD, pop it in there like so. You can also write to this, but obviously you're not gonna write anything to it. You're gonna to want to take things off of here. And then we're gonna give this a few seconds to wind up right here. In this case, I think this is a DVD with actually videos on it. So I am gonna go over to Handbrake and I'm gonna click on open source like that. It opens this up. I'm gonna go all the way down and there we see the DVD. It's opened up like that. And so this is some old, old video, some old projects. I'm just gonna open up any of these right there click open and then in a few seconds it will pop up like so and I can actually click start and it will take all of that video data off of here convert it onto my computer now you don't necessarily need handbrake if this is just data on here uh, effectively this is opening up so it looks like a flash drive on your Mac and in that case just open up finder and copy and paste it off of here onto there very easy this is super fast USB 3.0 it also comes with a standard USB size. You don't have to use the included USB-C port, but right now I have USB-C, and then the other end is also USB-C using my Mac computer.